North Suburban Medical Center in Thornton, Colorado is no stranger to administering vaccines like the yearly flu shot. The logistics of getting the shot to a lot of people is really nothing new for us. We've we've done that for years. What's different, Dr. Really Melissa logistics. Miller says, is the ultra cold storage the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine requires. How cold is ultra cold? Think Antarctica in the dead of winter, minus 70 degrees Celsius. Anything warmer in this particularly fragile type of vaccine falls apart. It's like nothing we've seen before, right? So we need to account for that cold storage. Using pharmacology expert Gina Moore says, ultra cold freezers for longer storage and short term thermal containers packed with dry ice. Part of the new skill set healthcare providers have taken on during this pandemic. How to swap out that dry ice to make sure that we're maintaining the right temperature for the vaccine and maintaining the integrity of that vaccine. It's not a hard thing to do, it's just making sure that you follow those instructions quite carefully. One box. The cold storage issue has been a primary focus of exercises held in places like Colorado to simulate the distribution of the Pfizer vaccine. From as they say, the loading dock to a patient's arm. Our biggest concern is definitely making sure that, especially the limited quantities that we're getting at the beginning, that uh, no vaccines go wasted. Vail Health Hospital is one of many medical facilities gearing up for the Pfizer drug, which will arrive 975 doses per order and must be administered within five days once it's moved to a refrigerator. We've been spending the last couple of months in anticipation of a vaccine coming including making sure we had storage capability in our special freezers. Until now, hospitals use these highly insulated freezers primarily for tissue storage and medical research. Now these devices are in extremely high demand. Our production has expanded significantly in the past three months. We are now at a clear three-digit percentage increase. So says the head of one German refrigerator company. These freezers, which cost upwards of $20,000, may be too pricey for many medical facilities. They'll have to rely on these thermal shippers and dry ice, lots of it. You know, we've all worked really closely with our vendors to make sure that we have a good supply chain and a strong supply chain, and that we've built up redundancy in that process. Soon, vaccine administrators will learn whether those preparations have paid off as the Pfizer drug and the cold storage principle is put to the test.